So today we're going to use Ephesians 1, 17 through 22 as a prayer. I pray to the God of my Lord, Jesus Christ, the Father of glory. Father, I confess today that all glory comes from you. I ask, Father, that you grant all of us a spirit of wisdom and revelation, of insight into the mysteries and the secrets and the deep, intimate knowledge of you. Lord, I ask that you let the eyes of our heart be flooded with light. Now, the eyes of our heart can be our soul and our understanding, but it can also be our spirits. So, Father, today, I just ask, let our spiritual eyes be flooded with light so that we can see the things of our homeland, so that we can understand our, your kingdom and our kingdom even more. So that I can know and understand the hope to which you have called us. Father, if we can see our homeland, if we can understand the spirit realm, we will know better the hope to which you have called us. So that we can know how rich your glorious inheritance is in the saints. Those of us who have set ourselves aside for you, for your purposes. Verse 19, Father, I thank you for doing this so that we can know and understand what is the immeasurable, unlimited, or surpassing greatness of your power in us and for us who believe. This power that you demonstrated in the working of your mighty strength, which you exerted in Jesus Christ when you raised him from the dead and seated him at your own right hand in heavenly places far above the rule and authority and power and dominion every name that is named, not only in this age, in this world, but in the age and the world to come. Yes, Father, you took our Lord from the lowest place, dead and in the grave, and you put him at the highest place, at your own right hand. This means that all things are easy for you. Verse 22 Lord, you have put all things under his feet and appointed him the universal and supreme head of the church. That's right, Father. All things are under the feet of your son. Jesus, you are the head and we are the body. Help us to hear from you. How can the body know what to do without hearing from the head? It wouldn't be good for my hand to be over here doing something that my head didn't tell it to do. Even if it was good and necessary, if my head didn't tell it to do it, it might not have been the right time. So, Lord, help your body hear from your, our head today. For we are your body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. For in that body, in the complete body of Christ, the full measure of Jesus, who makes everything complete and who fills everything everywhere with himself, resides. we got to learn to work together. We can't have this hand doing one thing and this hand doing another. No, we got to work together. And only you know what you want us to do. So, Lord, help us to hear from you today. I place myself in your hands. Let your will be done in my life and no other. In your name, Jesus, the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, amen.